What a wonderful day. There's been lots of great movies this year. Most of them I have watched and absolutely enjoyed them. So obviously it was time to also tackle the fourth Planet of the Apes film in the reboot series. Enter the Kingdom. Gone is Caesar's story. Now we get to focus on Noah, aka the successor of Caesar. And this film is actually really fun to watch. Not as impactful as Dawn or War, mind you, but still really fun. It still had its elements that make it great and is all very entertaining. So if you were wanting a movie review for this film, look no more as I will be talking about this wonderful movie and what holds it back from being perfect. Before we start, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoy it and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thank you and enjoy. Firstly, I'd like to point out the obvious reason why this film is so good to look at. Awesome motion capturing still and the visuals are very nice looking that look similar to those you would see in Avatar. The motion capture is great and is just as great as it was in the previous films. It still has the photom realism from war and everything else is just nothing but amazing effects. A lot of stuff you also get to see in this film leads to a new and great story. Set 300 years after Caesar's legacy, the film sets up new world building and new laws to be explored. It also allows the film to carve out its own story and also the rediscovery of human technology. It's like you get to rediscover the ape story all over again with some nice turns. Furthermore, the film shows elements of being deep and groundbreaking. While the humans don't appear as much in this film, you still get to see a few survivors left, seeing new human technology from the apes, which can help them grow again, and we might see a bunch more of it in a sequel. Groundbreaking in this film is also great, as it's like the other films, but adds more into this to make it even more beautiful to look at. New plus old techniques in this is just nothing but spectacular. This film also shows the aftermath of Caesar's death. At the beginning, you get to see his funeral, which shows that he still looms despite being gone now. A lot of the apes view Caesar's teachings same or different, whilst other apes have never even heard of him. This is a great way to continue Caesar's legacy. It also helped it set out more since it set 300 years after Caesar's death, giving us 
a brand new set of apes to see. For a film this far into the future, the set design is some of the best we've seen in the series. We get to truly see the green environment covering up the human landscape in great fashion, especially getting to see it better after In Dawn. The cinematography also helps make it better and brings the beauty to the landscapes. The fact that this is all directed by Wes Ball, who delivers us our promises in this film, is just icing on the cake. What this film is also able to achieve greatly is the characters. I thought at first they would be just inferior to apes like Maurice, Cornelia, Cornelius, and Rocket. But that was definitely not the case. Noah is a likable protagonist who has benefits that make you want to root for him. Proximus Caesar was awesome despite limited screening. Raka was great to watch. And Suna and Anaya that go alongside Noah have great similarities to Caesar's old ape clan that he used to work together with. To conclude the positives, the voice performances are just as great as ever. While it's not Andy Serkis like performances, they are still great. Owen Teague is a nice successor for Andy as he fills in the protagonist role very strong here. Kevin Durand makes Proximus a charming yet enjoyable villain with similar aspects to Koba. All the apes as well have stellar voice performances and even some of the acting from the humans were decent. Now time to list some negatives. To start with, some of the characters are very underwhelming. Raka was really enjoyable to watch, but then is killed off suddenly during a short climax. Proximus Caesar was a really awesome villain, but his death was very anticlimactic. Being killed by eagles and not having much screen time. May is a generic plot device to help the story move along, and the human story is barely focused at all. But that's probably a good thing since we get to explore a lot more on the ape story arc instead. What this film also lacks is emotional touch. This is what allowed the Caesar trilogy to become an amazing set of films. They were special not because of the effects, but the emotional touch you could feel with the apes. Here, it's only utilized at the beginning mostly, and kind of loses it after that, focusing on more seriousness and action oriented instead. Lastly, and sadly, the music score in this film is overall pretty mediocre. It has some nice callbacks to the other films, but it's very basic sounding for a film this big. It's not a terrible music score, but it's nowhere near as good as the other 
films. With that being said, music is important for films as they help bring more excitement to the scenery. Overall, my final opinion on Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, it's definitely a wonderful movie. While it's not as emotionally touching as the Caesar trilogy, but it makes sense since that's in a league of its own and almost no film after this can quite match to it. It's still awesome to watch. I love how this film also delivers a lot of needed elements, describing how the story develops over the years, showing the human side of the story, and also proving that there's still life left in these beloved movies. Apes are always together very strong no matter which film they are in so let's find out where the series goes into next and learn even more what this movie gave us for all that's left what is your opinion on kingdom of the planet of the apes what was your favorite moment in the film how does it compare to the Caesar trilogy? What are you hoping for in the future of the newly directed reboot series? Let me know in the comment section below. And also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel if you're new to see more on my channel. Have a wonderful day. In spite of it being 300 years since they reigned supreme, apes are still all together and very strong in kingdom. It's not the best installment, but is more than enough to justify its continued power.